everybody, I want to go over this difficult mean question. It says a professor has recorded exam grades for 20 students in his class, but one of the grades is no longer readable. If the mean score on the exam was 81 and the mean of the 19 readable scores is 84, what is the value of the unreadable score? All right, so what's going on in this question? Well, we want to understand the mean, right? Okay, so this question is going to really help us to understand what the mean is, and it's going to show us something interesting about the mean. You see, the mean of an exam is going to be the sum of the scores divided by however many scores there were. So for instance, look at this formula, mean equals the sum divided by n, right? Well. Let's see, the sum of what? 19 students? 20 students? What's going on in this question? Uh, professor has recorded exam grades for 20 students, but one of the grades is no longer readable. If the mean score on the exam was 81 and the mean of the 19 readable scores is 84, what is the value of the unreadable score? So, um, on the... we, How many means do we have? The mean score in the exam was 81, and the mean of the 19 readable scores is 84. So we have two means. <laughs> it's, it's so confusing. We got a mean of 81, and we got a mean of 84. Wow, it's raining outside. I don't know if you guys could hear this, but... So we got two means. Uh, if the mean score on the exam... That is the whole exam, right? That would be the 20 students. So we got the mean of the 20 students is 81, but he does have the, the scores of 19 students, so the mean of the 19 students is 84. So what can we do with that information? Well, I could say something like, let's see, let's, I'm using Desmos here. Let's say Control C, it's kind of convenient. The sum of the 20 divided by 20, right? The sum of the 20 divided by 20, we know that mean. What was it, 84 or 81? I forget. Let's see, uh, 81, right? It says the mean score of the exam was 81. Okay, so this is 81. So interestingly enough, from that formula, we can actually see that we can find the sum of the 20. You see that on the top? It says sum of 20. So we know that from that formula, sum Oops, it always does that. That's why I have to do caps. Sum of the 20 should be equal to 20 times 81, which I don't know what's 20 times 81. That's 1620. So this is equal to 1620. So the sum, what is that? What is 1620? That's the sum of all of the 20 scores. The sum of all of the 20 scores, all the 20 people, if you add up all their grades, it should be 1620. Well, we're going to use that value. Um, we're going to do a similar thing and say the mean is 84 of the 19 students, you see. So if we go here, the sum of the 19 students divided by 19, that is what was that, 84? And guess what we're going to do with that? We're going to say that the sum of the 19 is equal to 19 times 84, which equals to throw this right here control C control B that should be equal to 1596 well from that information we just got to subtract because you have the sum of all 20 students if you subtract the sum of the 19 students guess what it gives us that missing student so that missing score oh well that doesn't really work that well hey let's go missing score equals to basically the sum of the 20 minus the sum of the 19 so 1620 minus 1596 whatever that is let's see control C control V it equals to 24 and that is your answer 24 so that's an important formula to remember so really we're kind of getting at that top thing that sum we're finding that interestingly enough we're finding that the sum is equal to the mean times n and we're using that we're multiplying n the denominator times the mean and that's giving us that total sum so hope that helps